This tutorial will show you how to create drop shadows uh, on an image. We have three objectives here and these are uh, creating drop shadow but uh, different drop shadows with an angle. Like for example here, you notice this drop shadow and also this one. And uh, also this drop shadow here or in the effect that two people are floating. So the first one here, we're going to do this first. But before that, our source image is this one here, this photograph here. Now the problem with this photograph is that uh, the background, even though it's white, it's not really a cutout image. So if I create a box here, rectangular box, you know, color that say blue and then move this to the back of of the image say to back of page here you notice that this image has a white background and if I if I make a drop shadow I go to drop shadow here and I click and drag the drop shadow will be a rectangular one not the cutout drop shadow so so the first thing we have to do is we have to uh, use power clip in clipping this image. So we're going to draw a shape and then put that this image to the to the shape. So you call the power clip. In the Corel Draw Tips website, you can uh, there there are uh, tutorials about power clipping, and uh, it's best to also view that to understand the the concept of power clip anyway so in here so the first thing i did here is i i create a path a shape like a silhouette of the these two people and then power clip it into that uh that shape so but first first of all you have to go to tools click on options and make sure in options once you choose edit here Make sure that auto center new power clip contents is is not checked. Okay, click OK. So now I click on the, my Bezier tool, and I'm going to start to create a shape. So basically I already have the shape and the only thing to do is to put it inside the uh, the the shape, putting the image inside of the power clipped uh, shape. So my shape is this one, so I'll just make it, I'll color it just to show you that that's the shape and then now I click on the image, okay, you know that I'm selecting an image because in here it says that it's a JPEG so it's an image so I go to effects power clip place inside the container and my container is the shape that I did so I click that and it goes inside okay. I'm going to remove the outline by right mouse click on this X icon here okay now just to check I'm just going to create a, a box there Go to arrange order to back of page. Now, now it is a cutout shape already. Okay. Okay, now we're ready to do the the drop shadow. So the first drop shadow we're going to create is this one here. So I I select the par clipped curved object. You know it's a par clip, so here it's a spark clip. And then I go to my drop shadow I click and drag there now it's up to you if you want to make the shadow darker or 
are not really transparent. But anyway, let's start with this one here. And uh, now I have this, I have to separate the drop shadow. Okay, while selecting this one, the drop shadow, I go to arrange and click on break drop shadow group apart. So once I break it apart, now my shadow separate. Now I can do my angle. So I bring it down. Click one more time and I skew it. Okay. If that icon shows up, then you can skew it like that. Click one more time and then adjust it. There. There. Now it depends what you want, like how transparent the, the shadow is. But you can always uh, change the transparency by going to transparency. And then in here you can move the slider to the right to make it more transparent. Okay. So that's the first kind of drop shadow. Now the second one here is, is this one here. I'm going to delete this first, the first one. Because we're done with that. Delete that. Okay. Now this one, if you notice here, if I go to wireframe, view wireframe, you notice that this one is a vector image. Okay. You notice here my drop shadow here. That's not a vector. It's a. It's a. It's an image. Okay. So anyway, we already have the. I'm just going to duplicate this. So plus sign your keyboard to duplicate without an offset. Move it here. Okay. Now I know that this is vector image already. I mean the shape is vector, but it's a power clip. If I go to view and click on wireframe. It's a vector. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate one more time. Plus sign your keyword and move it here. Now I want just the shape. I don't want the image. I don't. Uh, I would just want the shape. So I go to effects, uh, power clip. I extract the content. Okay. My content is this one, this image. I don't want that anymore. I'll delete that. And I want this. Because that's a drop shadow. It's a vector drop shadow. I can make that my vector drop shadow. So I'll just move it like that and put this behind the image. Go to arrange order to back of page. Okay. And I can first I can scale down. Click one more time and I can skew it this way. And then move it just to align to their feet there okay now I can use transparency if I click on since it's a vector image I can uh, I can uh, use transparency okay I chose gray but it's up to you if you want to have a darker gray or okay let's say we start with 60% black so I click on the interactive transparency tool and then click and drag see now you have a vector shadow can always adjust by you know using the slider here okay let's zoom out can still change the, the angle using this one here one more time okay, and do some adjustment so that's another way now this one is also an easy one. Um, this is a this is the par clipped image, right? Plus sign your keyboard, and I'll just duplicate that here. And then once again, plus uh, once again, I'm going to create a drop shadow. Click on drop shadow. I click and drag. Oops, that's my drop shadow. And I'm going to separate the drop shadow, go arrange, break drop shadow apart. So I'm choosing the drop shadow and I'm just going to make the drop shadow smaller. 
very skinny like that and move it underneath I can also change the transparency by going to the transparency here and change it here there and I'll just duplicate this plus on your keyboard let's move it here just to show you that that you can achieve that kind of effect there. that's it 